Hi everyone, hope everyone had a very nice week. This week I would like to talk a bit about planes. Now there's lots of videos how to sharpen a plane. I mean planes carry sharp and everything. Jonathan Katzmoz has got a few very good videos out on that. But technique. There's lots of people that tell you how to sharpen a plane. But they don't give you much about the technique of using a plane. And there's quite a few techniques. And that's what I would like to talk to you about this week. So guys, please subscribe, share, follow. Let's make some shavings. So guys, when it comes to planes, there's planes and there's planes. And I've got the standard, oh standard, Stanley Bailey range. I've got from the big old number seven, the six, five, four and a half, four, three, and then my small little record plane, and then all the little scraper planes, rebate planes, some of them I don't even know what they are, I just bought them because I like them. For example, this little plane, it's the most beautiful thing ever. This one doesn't even have a name on, but I love it, just for the shape of it. So, I collect the Stanley Baileys, and I love them, and I haven't restored any of them yet which I will definitely do soon when I have some time on my hands I'll do some restoration on them what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna sharpen a planer blade and then we'll do some techniques on it to see how we can get to a square smooth straight piece of wood guys what I've done is I took my number 7 and my number 5 that's the two I use the most and I took the blades out and I mounted my number 7's blade in the Tormex jig and all I want to do with the Tormex is make sure that I've got a 25 degree angle on my blade so I've set it up and I'm just gonna make my stone coarse first with a coarse grid block just to make sure it is clean in the first place and then to see how much of the bevel, bevel I get clean just a few quick strokes and it's almost there so what I'm gonna do now is I make sure that my 25 degree bevel is fine first then I'm gonna take my number 5 chisel after the plane and I'm gonna take this one to 25 degrees as well and then I'll show you from there So guys, what I've done here is I've ground on the rough stone down until I feel a burr on the back of my blades, both of them, until I get a nice little burr. Then I went to a finer stone and I did that again and stole my burrs there. Now there is guys that does on the Tormek, they do on the stone take away the burr I personally I don't like it and the new jigs of Tormek is actually quite nice it's got the shoulder that your blade lies against to make sure that your blade is square to your stone so what I do to get rid of the burr I just take my old DMT stone wet it nicely put it down flat and then just give it a rub just keep equal pressure and it actually sticks nicely to it then you start to notice your burr is gone perfect so that one has got a nice edge to it this one has still got the burr Perfect. 
Now the burr is gone and I'm ground up to a fine stone on a tormek. I don't know what grit that would be. You can go check on the internet, but it works. So basically what I use the tormek for is just to get my 25 degree. From here on, I'm going to use the strop, the leather strop. And I'm just going to strop it quickly on the bevel as well as on the back. Just the first ach, little half an inch of the back. I do usually, we don't use much more than that. And for that I use the stropping cream, I think what they call it. It's also just a product from product from Tomek. And it actually works. A charm. Not too much, just a little bit. This I do by hand. Keep the bevel down. First on the bevel side and then I'll turn it around on the flat side. I like to quite a lot of pressure on it, to keep pressure on it and it actually polishes it up quite nicely. Let's see now if I can show you that. Just want to see if I got it. Oh yes, it feels like it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a very, very nice edge to it. And this thing is actually sharp. So let me quickly strop the other blade. And you will take it from there. So guys, now the old paper test. So all I've done is on the tormac and then on the leather strop. We've done and then it actually doesn't cut too bad. Where are you? There you are. So, it actually cuts not too bad. But now Kunrat arrived with his very fancy uh, Veritas jig and his diamond stones. And we're going to see if he can make it cut even better by putting the second bevel on, on about 28 degrees. So the number five I've done just with a Tormek and then the number seven's blade Kunrat has done now with that one. So let's see how that one cuts. Needs a little bit more. And now after the leather strop, let's see what she does then. That's quite a clean cut. It's really not a bad edge. Now let's test it on something real like wood. Okay guys, so, so one thing I believe in is put some candle wax, just still one of my, my wife's candles. Just put a candle on the bottom, give it some extra slip. And without much pressure. That is what we get. Which is this is maple and now it comes to technique what I found with myself if I hold it by the two handles like they were designed 
I tend to on the square plane my board out of square and what I learned from Kunrat, my very good friend is he likes to hold it with two hands one on the front against the board one on the back other side against the board and he planes like this and then he's got control but the thing with that is a dull plane you'll never be able to do that because you're going to need too much force to move this plane what I like to do is have one hand on the handle put one hand against the board so I can feel when it lifts off and then I plane and I still got quite a lot of control over my plane and the shavings we get off of this is absolutely top notch very fine shavings and the finish we get no sandpaper will give you this finish now that's a finish that we're looking for So it's that time where we're gonna square up the top and the old unrestored standing plane. like a chop. Sharpened it. Plains like a beast. That is now a plain joint. The hand plane. I don't know if you can see the joint. That's before clamps, before biscuits, before anything. So there won't be much stress in this wood once we clamp it. So, guys, that's the first three boards out of five that's going to be glued together. We decided to do them three and then another two. The other two is up there already jointed biscuited everything we're just waiting for this one to get dry once i'm gonna leave it for at least 48 hours to dry properly and we'll take it out glue up the other two and then we'll do a final glue up of the five boards together the legs we've now glued together this is all done just some final sanding busy there with a the little project where i'm bending some dowels to make some flower arrangements for my one sister so guys it's been a busy week been a good week and the big table is coming to an end enjoy your week make some dust have some fun stay safe see you next week <laughs>